How to fix the I RQL not less or equal error. Solution 1. Run the reliability monitor. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. In the run dialog box, type in perfmon slash rel and click OK. Once in the reliability monitor, look for software and driver installation and hardware failure messages to determine the cause for the IRQL not less or equal error. You may fix this error by reinstalling the problematic software or removing or replacing the faulty hardware. Solution 2. Run the Windows Memory Diagnostic. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, type in mdschedexe and click OK. Click Restart now and check for problems. Press the F1 key to open Advanced Options. Select Extended using the arrow keys on your keyboard, and press F10. The Windows Memory Diagnostics tool will scan your random access memory. The scan can't fix your faulty RAM stick, but will let you know if your RAM has problems. If a RAM stick is bad, remove it or replace it with a known good one. The scan results will be shown once your PC boots up. Solution 3. Run the Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, type in msdt.exe-id device diagnostic and click OK. Then, in the Hardware and Device Troubleshooter window, click Next. Apply the suggested fixes, and close the troubleshooter. Solution 4. Roll back, update, or uninstall device drivers. Right-click the Start button and select Device Manager. For the purposes of this video, we will use the display adapter. Expand the display adapters list. Select your display adapter, right click it, and click properties. Select the driver tab. To go back to an older driver version, click roll back driver. If rolling back the driver doesn't fix the issue, click update driver. Select Search automatically for drivers. Windows will download and install the drivers. If you're still experiencing the error, click Uninstall Device. Click Uninstall to confirm the action. Restart your PC and Windows will automatically download the correct device driver once the computer boots up. Solution 5. Run a check disk scan. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, type in CMD and hold down Control plus Shift plus Enter keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in chkdsa c slash r and hit Enter. Here, C is the system drive. If your system drive uses another letter, such as D, then type in D instead of C. Type in Y or Yes if that volume is being used by another process, and hit Enter. Then, close the command prompt, and restart your PC.
the scan will begin during the restart. Wait for the scan to complete. Solution 6. Run the deployment image and servicing management scan. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. In the run dialog type in CMD and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health and hit the enter key. Then type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and hit the enter key. Restart your PC. Solution 7. Run the system file checker scan. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. In the run dialog type in CMD and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window type in SFC slash scan now and hit enter. Restart your PC. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware. Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's duplicate file finder and big files finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.